happened in winners. Tony Pajamas took game one. It was looking really good for him, really solid for him. And then just a reverse 3-0. And not even a close reverse 3-0. I mean, it was like bada boom, absolutely out of here. So now that things are um now that things yep, now that things are progressing into grand finals, that CQP's actually able to do it. Things looking pretty decent for Quid once more. Feels like whatever lessons he's learned on the, in the winner's side of things have carried over here. Oh, great job with the tech chases. Recognizing that he could have gone for the jab lock the first time around, but instead right there he opted for uh, the f to just get another tech chase and trying to get as much damage as he can. Oh, Quid taking quite a hefty chunk of damage from that PK Thunder question is right now whether he can take this stock off of Tony Pajamas. We already know we've seen just how consistent and powerful Ness kill moves are. Oh, 138% off stage. He doesn't have a jump. Going way deep there for the neutral air, but not deep enough that he doesn't come back. Quid going to be taking that first stock looking really good right here because now he's able to play for the damage. Oh, as I say that, he actually gets a neutral air out of his own combo. How? What was that? It looked like he was forced to grab the ledge right there, but okay, it's, it's just so tricky. The way he's able to like put pressure onto the ledge without actually needing to use his jumps so that it can extra mix things up in order to get back onto stage. Man, could have so many plans, but unfortunately, not many plans can uh, deal with getting back thrown by Ness. There is not much counterplay once that little boy gets you deep in his arms like that. Regardless, you know, Quid's still looking pretty solid here. 31%. Ooh, nothing, like, not really that substantial. Meanwhile, Tony Pajamas is kind of already being pushed into the red. That was so good. You saw the way he used the down air to reverse his momentum. Totally throw Tony off from where he was trying to go. And now another one of those neutral we've been seeing him do it. But this time with the jump preserved. Oh, the very tippy tip of it. I don't think it's enough. Yeah, he goes for the PK Thunder to actually try and hit him because he knows there's no way he's making it back to the stage. These ledge guards, this off-stage play from Quid is just looking so, so good right now. Oh, good air dodge. Maybe we were being able to avoid that up air and all of the horrors that go along with it. I can't believe he air dodge out of that. That might have been a dead Quid. He was at 50, but he probably would have died from that. Right. Tony Pajamas, 41% on top off stage. The neutral air got the reverse hitbox of it, and how was he able to cover so many options? He, that's going to be it. That's going to be the game. Quid right there, though, if you look at the way he's using the neutral air just to shut down spaces when Ness has to recover, Ness not particularly fast in the air. So, you know, even though he does have stalling options, he can go for an early up beat, that sort of thing. As long as he shut down that path with the neutral air, he still had time to actually hit him with the up B before Tony could make it back to the stage. You could tell he knows this match. You could tell he's practicing it. He knows it well enough that Tony is actually not going to be giving it to him anymore. He's going to be swapping to the inkling. He, I think this is the right call, considering how methodically, surgically, he got deconstructed off stage like that. He should opt for the inkling, a character with a much overall better recovery, and a game plan that might be more suitable uh, for this matchup in particular. Let's see how the neutral itself will shake out. Interesting upbeat. That's actually going to get him super punished. Oh boy. <laughs> that up smash is looking mighty scary, but the quid doesn't actually uh <laughs> actually gonna get hit by it. Bad time around though, that's enough. Alright, you know, I was saying before how oh, you know, in winners finals, game one, uh Tony actually won it with his nest. And then after that he just lost the next four games. Not even close. Just absolutely destroyed in the next four games. But he's switching this Inkling right now. And Inkling is kind of throwing a quid for a bit of a loop. You know, Tony has had all the time in the world to learn how this Pokemon trainer has been playing. But this is the first time really that quid is facing down the Inkling. Oh, what a beautiful tech. He's surviving, Tony. Let's see what he can do with that survival. Back is not going to be enough to actually finish it, but 140%. He's not going to be surviving any of those kind of hits anytime soon. Neutral air enough to put him off stage. Just barely hanging on here. 157. 
And, oh, can he actually get us? Any tiny hit at this percentage could be really useful. Even if he just manages to ink him a little bit. You know? Okay, yeah, there's the ink. Even if he dies and respawns, it'll be a resource that he has available to get some extra percent in. Juma right now quit throwing out these safe moves, but... All right, finally going to be finding that down throw. As I learned earlier, apparently the second strongest down throw in the game. Okay, big damage. Possibly these back is coming out in full force. So much of it. He managed to get the air dodge right there. And avoids every single one of those hits that uh, Quid was attempting to juggle him with. Interesting. He doesn't have any invincibility, though. Minor capitalization from Tony Pajamas. He needs to find some way to actually close the stock out here. His Quid right now at 126%. He's a Zard. He can, he can kill. One back air poised at the ledge will absolutely take it. And now at 81, I think up smashes. Maybe not quite dying just yet to it, but anyway, not going to be relevant. All that rage is gone. Great forward air from 20 Pajamas taking out that stock. And good job teching those Squirtle F tilts. If you miss a tech on that Squirtle F tilt, you just die. He jab locks you. Jab, jab, down smash, forward smash. It doesn't matter. You just explode. Ooh, regardless, though, Quid taking 49%, and he is completely... Man, look at him. He is cloaked right now. Coated in a fine paste. <laughs> Glazed. I'm trying to think of all the adjectives I can use to describe just how covered in goop that Ivysaur is. But over time, it goes away. And without it, actually, I think it connected because there was no um, there was no goop on him. I, I don't know if the uh, up throw up air is variable based on how gooped your opponent is. Or inked, rather. Whatever the kids call it. There's a slime. Alright, 1-1. One, one. Oh, we're actually going to see the character swap into the steam. Back and forth here right now. Actual counter picks coming out to play. I wonder exactly why he's opting to go steam here. I think maybe he just... Didn't feel comfortable as Pokemon Trainer in the matchup. It could also be that, you know, he's been wanting to play more Steve, I know. Uh, especially after what happened this past week, for those of you who don't know. Um, uh, Steve had a really big result. d Dog, the, uh, the player, uh, I don't know if he's Jersey or if he's New York, but I often see him down at Zeno. Managed to reverse, uh, double eliminate, tweak. Um, so people have been talking about Steve a lot, and I'm sure that's a motivation for... And also speaking of motivations... Oh, he didn't have any iron! He tried to go with the down air, but he didn't have any resources for it. That should be it. Yep, getting inks like that, or the, the roller burying you. It's just an absolute death sentence with those higher percentages. Alright, I will say that for the most part, we haven't really seen Quid try and mind that much. It's being rather aggressive. I guess respecting the fact that Inkling is a very fast kind of rush down character and you know if you spend time mining you might not have the time to actually deal with the aggression that they'll throw out at you. Wow! Getting caught by the cart! Carrying him ever so gently to the ledge for that forward smash. Right now Quid looking really good right here. 42%, 45%, 60 That does so much damage when you're inked. Sheesh. Right, even more percentage. Oh, he's building the wall! And, ah, uh, he wanted to go for it. And that, I don't think that's going to be death necessarily, but actually no follow-up whatsoever. Tony Pajamas kind of struggling right here right now. He had that leave, and the lead is now gone. Oh, and as I say that, at very committal up smash, going to be absolutely punished. And the jumping in place punished as well. Last stock for both of these players. It's currently 1-1 in terms of game count. But managing whoever wins this will dictate a lot of what happens for the rest of this set. Not only do they have stage counterpick, but they also do have character counterpick advantage as well. If that's something that does become relevant. That back air. Oh my god. That diamond axe is just so strong.
Oh, he's looking to. <laughs> oh, no way the cart does it right there. That's enough. Quid taking game three. He only needs one more game in order to be this Encore Weekly's champion. <sighs> the question is now, will Tony swap back? He's been playing the Ness most of tonight, only now just being forced onto the Inkling in order to deal with this Pokemon trainer. Pokemon trainer isn't what he's facing down anymore, so... No. 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 What? What? No. Huh? Why? Why? Oh, God. I'm... All oh, right, fellas, he's here. The king has returned. And by the king, I'm not referring to, uh... God, I don't even know. All right, he's winning. <laughs> if, he, if, if he loses to this king, this out-of-the-box king, K. Rule, what are you doing? What is... Oh, uh, come on. We should have talked about this beforehand. <laughs> Of all the things, oh my god. Okay, well now King K. Rool got hit, which means that this is, so this is the problem. Like, yeah, King K. Rool, when he's hitting the opponent, looks like a decent character. Honestly, looks pretty solid, if I might say. Uh, but King K. Rool, once he gets hit, oh man, it is, it is not equivalent. All right, big damage. What goes for the suck? No, cannot find it. Oh, man. King Cable is breaking Tony's brain right now. He, he doesn't know what to do. Ah! That's so cute, actually. I did not know it does not reverse the uh, direction that the crown goes in. And there goes the up smash. Tony Pajama's actually evening up the stock count. However, he is at 70. That being said, I think despite how dominant the start of this game was, and despite how well Quid has been playing, I still, I don't know, in an ideal world, Tony is still favored. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Man. I feel so bad for all of the K. Rule mains who fight against Tony Pajamas in, like, round two and get absolutely bopped just to watch Quid pick him up. I, I am almost going to say at random and uh, and just absolutely clap Tony. I say that now. I still, I'm honestly, I still think that uh, Quid is at a disadvantage in this game. I think that Tony has been figuring out what he needs to do. He maybe was a little bit shook initially by this K rule, but I think he's figuring out exactly the style of play he needs to commit to. And, ooh, yeah, look at this. Only taking 27%. Meanwhile, Quinn's at 144. He has another stock to work with, but I mean, if we just see more of the same you know, for the rest of this game, I definitely do think that Tony should be able to win it. Oh, crown in hand. That back throw is more than enough to do it now. All right, we have a pretty much dead even game right now. About 61% though onto Tony. Uh, at the same time, I don't know. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? That's really... Uh. All right. Quids King Carol.